in the last lecture we talk about using better cap to execute an ARP spoofing attack and place ourselves in the middle of the connection between a target computer and the access point this allows us to intercept and analyze all the data flowing between them now that we have placed ourselves in the middle all of the internet traffic whether it's URLs images videos or even passwords is passing through our computer today we are going to learn how to capture and analyze this traffic so our computer is already in the middle of the connection and data is flowing through us to capture this data we will use the net snip module in the better cap this module automatically captures analyze and display interesting data to start you can type help net snip help net To see the available options, but for now we will keep things simple and run it with default setting by typing name name on. This command will start capturing all the traffic flowing through our computer. Now that we have started the capture process, let's move to our target machine. For this demo, we will use a Windows computer, and I will open the browser and generate some traffic to see. If better cap capture it for this example, we will visit a website called worldweb.com, which is not using HTTPS, making it easier for us to capture data. Remember what we are doing right now won't work on HTTPS protected sites, but don't worry, we will cover how to bypass HTTPS later in this course. Let's go back to the Kali machine where better cap is running. As you can see, every request made by the Windows machine has been captured, including requests to the Google and the site worldweb.com. We can even see file loaded from the site, like images or style sheets. As you can see, the visited file, as you can see, the visited site where our target machine was visited. Next, let's test capturing some login credentials. I will go back to worldweb.com. And open the link and enter username. I will try login in with the username admin and password 12345678980. And zero. Once login, I will be go back to the my Kali machine. If we scroll through the capture data, you can see the exact login request sent to the site including the username and password in plain text. As you can see, anything the target device sends or receives can be captured by our Kali machine using better cap, whether it's a computer or a phone, and whether it's connected via Wi-Fi or wired network. In the next session, we will dive deeper into HTTPS and talk about the method to bypass it. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.